O Son of God, most holy, that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. O holy thing, born, crucified, risen, and throned, we beseech thee, that thou rebuke all the unholiness in us that would breathe thy spirit from us. Rebuke, we beseech thee, all of the flesh and of the mind that is even negative and that thus hinders the operation of the spirit. Oh, we beseech thee, let the Shekinah be seen today. Let it hover over each habitation, showing that the Lord is now. We beseech thee. May we go away from this place, serious, if we be perturbed, bothered, until we have done something with this injunction, and have sought to be holy as thou art holy, and have tried by surrender and faith to purify our hearts unto obedience. Grant, we beseech thee, to answer all this in Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, we pray thy blessing upon us. O Lamb of God, we love thee so, we would with thee life's journey go. We pray thou would help us this morning. hurt and humbled by our own unworthiness, and the knowledge of and, and haunting memories of sins committed in the past, but by thy grace at the moment we have no wish to sin. We wish only to, to love thee and live as we should. So please help us now, for Jesus' sake. The brethren will now gather while we sing. Father, we pray thy blessing upon this word. Now, as we enter communion service, we pray that in utter humility, meekness, and humbleness of spirit, we may be and insist upon being what thou dost declare us to be. And we may deduce from thy own characterizations of us what kind of holy men and women we ought to be, showing forth the praises of him who brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Take away all bitterness, all resentfulness, all disquietude, all discontent, and bring us, we pray thee, into mental and spiritual harmony as we think together of the shed blood and the broken body. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless us. It's time we wake up, and I pray with the prophet, or with the hymn writer awake, God turn, almighty God turn off their eyes from all these alluring vanities. Let the thunder of thy word awake their souls to fear the Lord. May it be so. We pray thee, shut around us today by thy grace. Shut us out from the world's clamor, from the wagging tongues and the noisy booming voices, and the example that would lead us not toward thee, but toward the world. Save us from it. And shut us in with thee, and may we think and talk and meditate on holy things today. Dismiss us now with our blessing, may grace and mercy and peace be with us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, our Father, we well know that spiritual things can't be reduced to formulas, even though we struggle so hard to do it. 
an impulse of faith, sudden reckless daring of the soul in its leap after God could do more for us than all the carefully laid out sermons could ever do. But we've done all we can do. We've appealed to the intelligence, made some explanations, tried to say in our racy modern English what has been said with great and stately dignity in our Bibles. My God, now take this that's been spoken and apply it to our hearts. May we, one after the other, turn from Adam's unbelieving world with its self-confidence, its self-reliance, its arrogance, its pride, its mad pleasures, its love of wealth, its love of praise, its love of publicity, its inordinate love of clothing and of fine things and of rich things. Turn us, we pray thee, from it all, not only in our hearts, but in reality. And then turn us to Jesus Christ, thy Son. We need him, Lord. We gave up the world and didn't have him. We'd be in a vacuum. Thou quickly take us through that little vacuum and take us to Jesus Christ who is the radiant source of everlasting life and peace, joy, world without end. Thou bless us now as we go on into the Lord's Supper. We ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray that thou wilt single us out as though there weren't any others. And lonely singleness and speak to us. Lord, it isn't our will that we should fail in our Christian progress. Lead us, Lord. Thou hast spoken this morning of that we're quite certain. Continue to speak. Save us, we pray thee, from the result of our own foolishness. Save us from the traits of our own nature. Save us, we pray thee, from our own laziness, and make this afternoon for some a time of crossing over. And now may grace and mercy and peace and crying God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, be with us forever. O oh Lord, we pray thee, help us this morning. We can't ask that we might be worthy to receive of the communion, but we do ask that we might in a worthy manner receive it. Prepare our hearts, O oh God, to think seriously and reverently and with, with joy over thy blood and body and righteousness, which are to be to us glorious dress and the heavenly garb in that day. Bring on our minds from considering the world. May we think only about thee. Christ's name. Amen. Father, we pray thy blessing upon the word given. We pray that thou will help us, that our faith might mount up like an eel, stretch its broad wings, and soar so high that nothing can pull it down. As the eagle can look upon the sun, we pray that we may look upon thy holy Son at the right hand of the majesty, and that we may be grateful to the point of tears and tenderness, that he who is God and very God of very God gave himself and hung on yonder tree. Bless us as we receive of the Lord's Supper. In Christ's name, amen. Now, Father, we pray thee, bless this truth. Long ago thy servant wrote these words. We, thy servants, in this time long after hear them. They're as living as if they'd been written yesterday and delivered this morning. Oh, God. We lift our eyes to thee, 
to thy Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, who is above angels, and who sitteth at thy right hand. And we pray, give to us a spiritual urgency. Give to us a longing which is more than human. Give to us, we pray thee, the desire that's like a fire burning in our bones, that the claims of Christ thy Holy Son may be so strong within us that we cannot neglect them. We shall press on like the day, spring, rise higher and higher to the shining light and unto the perfect day. We ask it in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. upon these words and upon the little commentary that we've made on them, trying to apply them to our practical living. We pray that thou would give consent of heart and willingness to obey and cheerful faith to do as we're told by the Spirit in the Scriptures. And bless us during the day and for the afternoon and for the evening and May this day be a, a big day, a great day. Not a dramatic day necessarily that the newspapers will talk about, but a day deep in the things of the Spirit. We give thee praise. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, oh Lord, We love thy church, we love thy kingdom. Her walls before thee stand, dear as the apple of thine eye, and graven in thy hands. For her our tears shall flow, and for her our prayers shall rise. And for her we promise to labor and work. But, O oh Lord, thy poor church is only a ragged, beggar woman than she could be a queen and she could be a princess and lean upon the arm of her beloved O oh Lord Jesus we pray for thy church we pray for thy people who believe thy word or claim to believe it we cannot pray now at the moment for the liberal for the cultist for the false teacher we cannot, but we pray for those who believe the Bible. We pray for those who claim they're even jealous. And yet they wear rags where they should wear silks. Oh God, we pray to revive thy church in the midst of the years. Revive this church, O oh Lord. Revive the alliance. Revive every denomination that stands for the truth. O oh Lord. Save us from fear, and save us from intimidation. We grieve thy Holy Spirit by neglecting him. We quench thy Holy Spirit. We listen to the blandishments of men who ought to know better. And they have made us afraid to believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. 
We grieve them for this and we apologize to thee for it. We pray thee, O God of grace, out of infinite grace, send to this church a sweet wave of power to be, a sweet wave of ability to be holy and good and faithful and temperate and joyful and right. Send, we pray thee, such a way. We thank thee for the blessed Spirit, Father, how it's sending to the earth to be our advocate, our indweller, to show us the Lord Jesus, to lead us as a shepherd leads his sheep, and to be in us a mentor and teacher, showing the things of Christ to us. We've acted as if he didn't exist and we're sorry. We apologize and we repent for our neglect of the Spirit and our mistreatment of the Spirit. Oh, Father, wash us clean and make us white in the blood of the Lamb and then pour a horn of oil on our heads for the poor world bleeds and dies and we have not to help them. They starve and we have not to give them. Forgive us, Lord. Breathe, oh, breathe thy breath upon us and say, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Save us, we pray thee, our God, from logicians, and men with, with pencils and rules and, and, and squares and levels, always driving us away from the fountain. Lord, we would put them behind us and under our feet and rise on our dead selves to better things. Help us, we pray, over these evenings together. May the total result be the one after the other of us shall be filled with a new power and a new grace and a new ability to be and do that we might show forth the excellency of him who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. We ask it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's pray. Oh, our Lord Jesus, we've entered into what men call Holy Week. We're going to be thinking this week about thy suffering and thy death. The next Lord's Day, we're going to celebrate thy resurrection. Oh, blessed Lord Jesus, we thank thee of all this is past. And while we may commemorate it now, it doesn't repeat. It's not repeated. Thou art not going to die Friday and arise Sunday and send the Holy Ghost fifty days later all that's history and done and we're the beneficiaries of it all if we only dared believe it help us to believe it oh Lord and forgive us for doubting it we are the recipients of all that it cost thee and all that thou didst bring by death and suffering and tears and groans and sweat and by resurrection and by ascension to the Father's right hand, we are the heirs of the ages. Upon us the ages have converged. We, O oh Lord, are richer, richer than angels. For thou didst do this not for angels but for men. We are thy church, Lord. We are people set aside here that have met on this corner, in this building, which thou hast graciously provided for us. Here we are, Lord. We're waiting, Lord. We're expectant, Lord. We need help, Lord. Oh, Lord, we pray thee put thy arms about us and squeeze us together so tight that there be no pockets between us, no, no non-conducting elements that drown or hinder the power from flowing. Let it be this week. Let it be on over Easter. Let it be for the days ahead. We beseech thee, O oh Lord. And let one after another of us, we pray, O oh Lord, find the secret place and there wait with our open Bible until our vessels are clean and empty. And we are waiting and believing. And then we believe that one after the other, Thou will give power. And we're looking forward, Lord Jesus, to that moment when there shall be a sudden nearness of the Savior, instantaneously bestowed, lovingly bestowed upon a thirsty people. Save us, we pray thee, from the cheap pattern of the worldly churches. 
bring us back to Calvary, back to Pentecost, back to all that they meant and mean, and that's now perpetuated for us. Oh, blessed Lord Jesus. O oh, the old God for thy work, there in French Quebec where the everything is stacked against the people, against the true people of God. Bless our young brother, we pray. May thine oil be upon his head in such measure that everybody there, even though they hate him for his Protestantism, they love him for the fragrance of his life and slowly turn and see that the fragrance of a holy life comes from the same doctrines that they hate, and thus give up their opposition and turn to thee. That mercy we pray thee attend the ministry of this young man and all of those who labor there. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. Let's pray. Look on us by love, by undying affection, a love that a few hours later would die also. That love hasn't lost any of its content, no weaker, no smaller. Big as God is big, and as eternal as God is eternal. O oh, Lord Jesus, we are thy sheep. And the world is big, and the devil is going about like a roaring lion. And the temptations are and the flesh is weak. And maybe some of us are cooling off inside our hearts. Please, Lord, before it's too late, help us to get enough of it quick before it's too late. Please, Lord. Don't let us harmon and backsliders. People that have lost their conscience can no longer grieve because they no longer sorrow, but they don't feel sorrow. Oh, we plead, look at us again today in our hearts. We're no better than Peter. But maybe, Lord, some who like Peter have sneaked out of discipleship, or at least inwardly they have. Look on us, Lord, and break our hearts. Look on us and make us weep. Give the grace of tears this morning, Lord. Oh, Jesus, a few tears. If we knew that we could have this morning ten thousand dollars offering plates for the church and for missions, we'd be glad. But if we knew instead we were to have ten thousand tears, of grief and repentance and penitence and faith and hope and joy, we'd lay the ten thousand dollars away and take the tears that we might weep because we can't weep. Oh, help us this morning, in Jesus' name. So let's pray and let's believe God together. Now we're going to close. When you go to the hidden thing tonight, don't sing junk. I know I don't think you do, but sing only that which warms your heart and makes Jesus Christ glorious, and then slip away home, and don't waste your time selling jokes and making quips, and lose everything you've got today in the house of God. Let it stand. <laughs> Have dealings with God, won't you, friends? Have dealings with God before you close your eyes and slumber this night. Father, we pray. First, we want to thank thee that we have light on this. We want to thank thee that, that in thine infinite mercy thou hast not let us go like cattle to the slaughter, not knowing where we're going because we're fat and sleep. Imagining that we're all right and actually we've been fattened for the slaughter. We thank you, Lord, that we've got a light on this. Now help us to walk in. Bless us, everyone. Take away all false hopes and all unscriptural expectations and pull us back 
the word of the Lord. Oh, Father, out as we go down the steps and onto the sidewalk tonight, mark the forehead and then the sign and cry. Great God, have mercy upon our America. Have mercy, we pray, upon our America. With a dozen of God, at least a dozen God, have mercy, Father, and help us to turn from idols to serve thee to wait for thy son from heaven. Dismiss us now. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I want to talk about the doctrine in the Bible. God and Father of our Lord Jesus, we thank thee this hour. Thou hast not let, thou hast not allowed us to wander into the serpent-infested valley and left us there. But thou hast allured us and wooed us, and even there has faced the door. Wherever we are, there's a way out and a way in from that spot. Thou hast so arranged it in thy grace. Thou hast sent thy Son, Jesus, to die, to rise, to live, to plead, to be for us, advocate above, as Savior by the throne of love. And while he's there and we are here, for is within touch. We bless thee. We will not despair. We will not give up. We will not surrender to the chins of the enemy. We will dare to believe that with every temptation thou wilt make a way, thou wilt turn our tin into silver and our silver into gold, and thou wilt give us the garments of praise for the garments of heaviness. Bless thou the word spoken this morning. We ask it of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Dear Lord Jesus, We're unworthy to be members of thy church. But we are not going to be tricked by the devil into letting our unworthiness make us morbidly unbelieving. Even though we're not worthy to thee, we're accepted in thee, and thou hast made us members of thy body, and we accept it. And we leave the matter of our worth with thee. And if angels or archangels question our right to be there, we look to thee as a sheep looks to his shepherd and say, Answer for me, Lord, answer for me. I admit I'm not worthy, but answer for me, dear Lord. And thou wilt answer for us. For thou didst come from high heaven to low earth, from the immortal and eternal liberty of the Godhead to the confines of the virgin's womb, that we might be redeemed. Now this die on the cross of shame and suffering, and rise, that we might be justified and forgiven, and you reunited again with the Father from which we fell in the fall. Lord, all this is true, and we leave it with thee. Now wilt thou bless and help us to see how wonderful it is to be a member of however small a group that believes in thee. We leave the great, top-heavy Christendom to find its own way. We shall pray, O God, for all the church, all who call themselves Christians. We shall be tolerant and kind and charitable and loving and friendly to them all, but we will only go with those that love thy name, that trust the precious work of Christ on the cross, and that are ready to leave all and follow him. We pray, O oh God, for every Christian in Toronto. We pray for all the ministers of the truth, and we thank thee there are many who preach the truth. Bless them all, Father. We grant that over these weeks that lie before us, we may see a constant rising tide that shall eventuate in a flow 
but it shall be like the river that flows out from the throne of God. In all this, we ask in Christ's name, Amen. Amen. Yes. All right, let's stand and pray. Father in heaven, we pray for these thy servants and children who have requested prayer. Lord, Satan is such an evil enemy, and the world is everywhere about us, and the flesh is so persistent. Now, I would love thee, and some of us are having a tough time on it. Sometimes the flesh conquers, and sometimes the world gets the better of us. We want it to be reversed. We want it to be the other way around. We want to always have the win. We want to see the victorious always as our victorious to David, thy servant. Oh God, we pray for these who are president. We pray that our one take them through, bring them to an experience in their lives where they can truly and positively know Nothing between them and thee, no friends, no family, no reputation, no ambition, no money, no property. Nothing is between them and thee, but thy face beams down upon them, as clear as the sun on a bright day with no clouds between. Lead, we pray, in this. Now we pray for the days that are before us. We pray that God will bless us, the Lord, and let there be a positive glory left in this city as a result of these meetings. We beseech the Holy Ghost in power and might from the throne above, from the heart of Jesus the Lord, come and bless this city. These friends, in the day and in the evening, and do what thou hast planned to do, Sovereign Lord, do what in thy mind to do for this, for these people, for the churches of this city, for the people who will be here, whether there be many or few. Do something, Lord, we pray thee. Work it out. Do it, O Lord God, we pray thee, as clearly as raising a dead man or healing a sick man or as in older days, when thou didst do these visible miracles, do thou with great youth in the hearts and lives of people, miracles as sharp and clear as those miracles were. And when the meetings are over, there will be those who have a deposit of, of power and grace within their hearts that didn't have when the meetings began. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, we will lift our voices to thee. We pray for you, young people, all of you, children, all of them, and for all that are gathered at this job, to them. We pray that they may take themselves all that is given to you with them, and the single man. Press forward and learn how to do to be crucified with Christ and yet live, live the mighty soul, glow, affirmative, optimistic life in the spirit to decide everything happy and yet truth and joy and blessedness growing around about them as the flowers in the springtime. Mr. Gallery moves to that place. And prepare for the night to be the God of God. May God give us hearts to obey as well as ears to hear. Amen. Oh, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I know that we live in a world where perils and dangers are on every hand. And life is kind of speeding, and judgment is coming, and Satan is busy. Ones are squaring themselves across the path, for trying to prevent us from going ahead. But we hear you come to, and we want to know thee. 
and the power of thy resurrection suffering and be made conformable unto thy death. We want to know the beauty and wonder that we pray for these who request the prayer. Oh, Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus. Thou who didst come in olden times in the form of a dove and through fire, and thou who didst come to Peter and to the Moravians and to the saints of New England, thou who didst come, O Lord, and fought here and there, just, oh, withhold not thy glory from us. We cry, show us thy glory, Lord, show us thy glory, and teach us how to go on. Now grant we pray that this may be a good week, and if the devil makes it the worst week we've ever had, we'll have a naked intent and determination, and we'll calmly, quietly believe, even though we should, even though the darkness should settle over us, we'll know it's the cloud of unknowing, it's the dark night of the soul that sees morning of the heart. And we won't be frightened. For we know thou didst go through the garden and through the cross and out of the darkness and into the tomb and out of the tomb and into the glory. So wilt thou lead thee and lead us and lead this church. And oh, we pray, bring us to a place where soon we may be under grace, spiritually prepared for a mighty outpouring of the an outpouring that shall bring in reality that which everybody's talking about and nobody has. And we shall testament spirituality back to Book of Acts, Christianity again. Maybe out from us here they shall flow into the desert way, and fire that shall touch churches and groups of us. as we wait. And above all things, show us thyself, thyself, Lord, and show us thy glory. As thou passest by, and show us thy glory, so that all the glory of this world shall appear as ash that wondrous thing. This we ask in the holy name of Jesus. Now as we close the ray, the scene, as a little soul of us, opening Verse or two, or stand or two of that. What is it? Yes. And then we join our Father. We pray, make us hungry. Thou knowest the trouble with thy church, Lord, is we're not hungry. We have, we have the thing because we have the text that tells about it. We have the doctrine and think we have the object because we can describe it. We think we've eaten when we're dying of malnutrition. We think we're full when we're about to cave in from emptiness. Oh, God, what are appetites? What are appetites, we pray. Drive us, we pray thee, like this, roll by the until we're dehydrated and our tongues are hanging out. Until we, we run to the water brook, cry a drink, a drink. Oh, God, upset us, disturb us, perturb us. Worry us, make us anxious until we're through with ourselves. Until we open our hearts like the sun in the rain. Until we open our vessels as the widow's vessels were opened at the top and were filled with oil. Oil of God, come and fill us. And make us so hungry we can't live until we're filled. This in Jesus' holy name. But nothing compared with the deep knowledge of God Himself. No, no. You know this knowledge of God, nobody can argue out of it. Nobody can argue out of it. They can come and point a fifth hand or finger at you and call you every name in the law to me. And when you feel, you feel bad about it, but you still know you know God. They can come and argue with you with you and give you scripture to prove you're all wrong and run this. You can say, well, you're a pretty good expositor, but I happen to know God. You got things too late. You come to prove I can't, and I never can to prove it. So we can know God for ourselves, that I might know Him. The good thing is, some of you know that. Some of you are trying through. I've gotten letters, I've gotten 
I've gotten phone calls, I have a headache, and I know that some of you are finding the Lord in a new, rich, deep, and wonderful way, and I'm glad. But, uh, how about the rest? Can't we speak it? Now let's pray. Now before we do pray, we're going to find out if there are ways to you say, I want you to remember me. For your own, your own long heart is talking back to you. He is bigger than you are. And you're not here maybe quite about it all intellectually, but you're God. And you want to know what Paul knew? And you want to know what God has revealed in the experience of his saints down the years? And you say, pray for me, Mr. Tozzi, that I might have the spiritual courage to rise and sit behind me and under my feet. Whatever it is, friendship, ambition, a plan, or just the victories of anything that prevents me to be. Would you raise your hand real carefully? Anybody here would you say, I do want to be. Put your hand up to them. Say, yes, I do. And who else? You want to know, yes, I do. And who else? You want to know, yes, I do. Yes. God, for the hands that have gone up, now let's have a little time. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was with you, and in the beginning was with God. We thank the Lord Jesus, that when we come to thee, we go back to the beginning. Back of Paul, and back of Moses, back of Abraham, and back of Adam. We go back to the beginning. Thanks, like it is in us. And in thee we see the power. Through thee we know the power. Through the cross of the cross in us. In the name of thy son Jesus, we pray, Father, that thou wilt take thee, take it, and these older ones, and leave them in these houses, in these the ways that may be rough and hard and even painful and chastening, but leave them until all is behind them, everything is behind them, and they put behind them everything, everything, what and what they're proud of and what they're ashamed of, and what the victories they've had and the defeats they've had, and the mistakes they've made, oh, we pray to leave these things on and teach them how to look forward and not backward. And you know, Father, that when we talk about these things, some come because they feel that they begin they can swallow or a text they can memorize or some one little trick they can do. Oh, Lord God, it is not thus we see. But rather by the cultivation of the knowledge of God and by faith and humility and care and trust and confidence and obedience and trusting onward till at last the mountain top appears in view and up out of the mist we come to the sunlight come holy spirit heaven come with all our chicken power when we pray thee and set about this table of love Pray for all of these, when we pray, Lord, to some who didn't request a prayer for anything, but who should have all uh, this night without even salvation. And we pray for all the churches that are coming, bringing their service to you, pray within half an hour or so. Bless them all, Lord, and grant we pray to you that every nut may have to you, and that every shepherd might, and every father to come from home. If there be victory in the church of Jesus Christ this night, we call out all the time. If he will give praise, we ask this thing through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we have no doubt of what thou hast done for us, but we pray that thou would open our eyes to behold and 
our hearts to understand and feel, and our spirits to see and penetrate to all the glory that thou hast brought to us, we may receive into our own souls and lives. We pray that thou help us, that we may hear the voice again today, that voice that created all things, that voice that raised the dead, that voice that speaks and men are clean, and that voice that will someday untune the sky. We pray that thou help us to hear it. Father, we're both unworthy to speak and to hear, but we come by grace alone, through faith, and that not of ourselves, it's thy gift to us. Will thou make us, we pray thee, to speak worthily? Enable us to hear worthily, O Lord, this hour, for Christ's sake. Amen. Father, we pray thy blessing upon what's been being human, Lord. Maybe some things were said that should have been said. Expunge them from our minds. Everything that should impress them upon our minds. May we go out from here humbly glad we're Christians, humbly glad for our fathers who taught us the Bible, for our fathers who translated the Bible for us, for our fathers for us, for our fathers who wrote expositions and commentaries and, and devotional books and beat our hearts on in a day of pollution and pornography. Great God, we thank thee for all the good men, thee for every worshiping saint. We thank thee for Wesley, who wrote these great hymns, and Grant, and Watts, and Montgomery. We thank thee for that fountain of all hymnology, David, who now didst stand and say, Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. God, help us today. If we go out from here, we pray we may go all the beauties that are about us, but appreciate him as Christians, seeing him not as pagans, but seeing him as Christians, birds and trees, worshiping the God who made the birds and trees. Amen. Father, we pray. This thou, this truth, O God, thy mercies are abundant. Mercies full and free, and have they not, O oh God, found out me? We thank thee for thy mercies, thy many, abundant, full mercies. Now we pray that thou wilt help us to lean back and trust and not be afraid, hate sin and love righteousness, flee from iniquity and follow after godliness, but always know that in all that we do, Mercy is around us like the air underneath us, as the earth above us as the stars. We live in a merciful world to serve a merciful God. We live in star being in the abundant mercies of the triune God. Graciously grant us, we pray thee, properly and to apply it to our hearts. And we give thee praise to Jesus Christ our Lord. Forgive him, Father, oh, forgive. He knows not that by, it is by me he lives. Father, we pray thy blessing upon the word given. We pray that thou will help us, that our faith might mount up like an eagle, stretch its broad wings, and soar so high that nothing can pull it down. As the eagle can look upon the sun, we pray that we may look upon thy holy son at the right hand of the majesty. And that we may be grateful to the point of tears and tenderness that he who was God and very God of very God gave himself and hung on yonder tree. Bless us as we receive of the Lord's Supper. In Christ's name, amen. O oh, our kind Father, if 
think he, thou hast not left us in our sins. Thou hast thought of a way for us. Thou hast planned it in Christ Jesus, thy Son, our Lord. Thou hast worked it out by blood and tears and groans and death and the miracle of resurrection and the wonder of ascension to the right hand of the throne. And thou hast sent the Holy Ghost to say everywhere throughout the world, He that believeth him on him shall not perish. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh, we thank thee, Heavenly Father. Time is running out. And it's later than we know. And then thou hast warned us gently and carefully to be careful what we do with this message. Be careful lest we take too much for granted. To be careful lest the devil get the seed, lest the cares of life take the seed, lest we be Christians only in name and have a name that we live but be dead. My God, it would be better that we should perish from the naked slopes of the Baling Valley and from the rich precincts of Toronto. Better that we should die pagans cutting off the necks of chickens try to appease some bestial God and to die Canadians and Americans and Englishmen and Scotsmen who heard from their childhood this wondrous message but have let it go. Oh God, what do we say to thee in that time? What answer can we have? From the Bali naked savage men smeared with pig grease and clay and stand up and say, we never heard it. But who here can say it? Oh, God, we've heard it, and we've heard it, and we've heard it until we're bored with it. God, forgive us. Give us a new something, a new baptism of interest, a new, a new afflatus of, 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 of fresh interest in the things of the gospel. Oh, God, we pray. But thou will help the friends here tonight. Lord, we pray for those who are well saved, that they might become so keenly concerned for others that aren't saved, that they would continue to work for their salvation hard and struggle and pray and labor until one by one they're gathered in. Grant, we pray, our God, that there might be a harvest of souls that have new. We're overdue, Lord. It's long overdue. But God, we're not giving up. We expect to see it. We expect to see it, Father. We expect thee to give us a harvest. We expect to see young people that brought in and older people. We expect to see the, the, the new faces and hear new voices and, and see the travail of thy soul, O oh Lord. We expect this. Because thou art God, and because Jesus Christ thy Son said if we wanted anything asked in his name, and you'd give it to us. Because that's why the gospel is being preached. That's why we're here. So we expect to see it, God. We don't believe that thou dost speak to men vainly or say anything to anybody carelessly. We believe that when thou dost make a promise, that promise is as good as gold. So we're expecting, Father. We're expecting thee to do it. Oh, well, around the margins, our relatives, our friends, our neighbors, people all around here that are not here tonight, but they can be here, and they can be brought in, and they can be one. We pray to you, oh God, fall on the churches. Fall on this church. Fall on our people. We pray with a, with a new afflatus of love for men, that we may not depend on the word from the pulpit only, but that we might supplement that word with earnest soul-winning efforts. Now, come on us, Father. We're looking for help, oh God. Once more, we remind thee, that we have for this church a vision of a strong, Bible-based, morally right, solid, vigorous, active, loving church that the people will feel when they come in here that surely the, the Lord's in this place of a truth. The Lord may be slow, but we believe it will come. 
Now I said first the, the, the little sprout and then the stalk and then the ear and then the full corn in the ear. So put us through those stages fast, Lord, because we need the corn and we need it fast. We need it soon. Great God, need us. We're trusting thee. We pray thee for any tonight that are not committed, that have been, the Holy Ghost has found them somewhere there among the, among the rocks or on the wayside or among the thorns. The Spirit of God has found them. We pray thee that they might come out from there and be good ground and receive the truth into our honest hearts and bring forth truth with patience under perfection. We ask this in Christ's name. Now let's sing this number, please. What number is it? Father, bless thou this exhortation of our shoulders, Father, and send us out a happy people. For surely we ought to be a happy people. Since thou art our Father and Jesus our brother, and the Holy Ghost our indwelling paraclete. Save us from our ears. And help us to sing unto the Lord a new song and rejoice continually. For the oh Lord has set our feet upon a rock. Put a new song in our mouth, even praises unto our Dear Heavenly Father, we pray this night. Oh Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ thy Son. We bring our petition. Father, we apologize to thee this night for the way we've been living. We're sorry for carelessness and that insidious ease in Zion that cares nothing for thee troubles of Jacob. O oh God, O oh God, we pray this evening that thou wilt burn truth home. We dare to ask and we do ask. Don't let anybody escape the arrows of the Almighty. Don't let anybody escape the net of the divine fisher. We beseech thee Thou wilt so move upon us that one after the other, board members and Sunday school teachers, and people that have a reputation for being holy and all that, all of us together will see how desperately we need a visitation from thee and how we're hindering it by our rut, thinking in the rut, praying in the rut, expecting in the rut, living in the rut. Oh, Lord, we thank thee there's a way out. The precious blood of Jesus cleanses from all sin. And for the blood cleanses the Holy Ghost anoints. So we pray this night there might be some, even one, that will say, I am the man. I am the man. And will do something about it. And we believe that if we repent of the rut, thou wilt repent of the rut that thou art leaving us in, and will bring us out to a wealthy place. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. Son of God, immortal love, whom we that have not seen thy face by faith and faith alone embrace, believing where we cannot prove. We believe tonight. We reject the claims of men and we'll follow none of them. But we own thy claim, O man who is God. We admit the validity of thy claim. Teach us, we pray thee, to bring in our scattered lives and concentrate them upon thee, as Paul did, and the other saints. Teach us, we pray, to listen for the sound of thy musical voice until we're charmed and enthralled and enraptured by it, that we might not go our sleepy way, being mediocre, half-awake Christians, 
while the coming of the Lord draws nigh. Grant, we pray, these friends may take this home and do something about it. We ask in Christ's name, amen. Oh God, oh God, how knowest the world is spinning on. Time is getting and running out. Children are becoming youth and youth becoming middle-aged and middle-aged are getting old and older. And thou hast said, Redeem the time for the days are evil. Lord, this fail here. Lord, thou dost want us to be revived again. Revive thy people, Lord. Individual people. And then if numbers of individual people can band together, thy Lord, by thy people. Grant, Lord, to help. Now we have your people. Just for a minute more of prayer. Who would say, Mr. Tozer, please pray for me, that I might have only so alone, apart from my relation to others, that I might have a new inflow power and purity and grace that I might be a revived soul. Pray for me. Would you raise a hand? Father, bless thy word. Just help us to see how wondrous are thy judgments and our ways past time now. We see with bowed heads and reverence the hard, obscure things as well as the easy, plain things. We thank you, Lord, that these who claim them outnumber the others, perhaps a thousand to one. Bless thou the word for these places. Oh, Father, we pray for all these who raise their hands. Oh, God, we pray to break them loose from their sins, break them loose from they're a little block of society. Break them loose, we pray to um, the, the, the little things that interest them. And uh, take them aside, if need be, into the, into the desert. Take them into the silence of their own room. Take them somewhere in an awful glory. Maybe so they come through to a place where they take taking Christ as their all and all for us and surrender to the Spirit of God to be in them, to guide them through, to enter them inward and outward and around and beneath the above, all of the waters to the fish, all of the bears to the bird on the wind. More than that, all of the soul is to the human body. All of the spirit is to the soul. May they do this, Lord, for Jesus' sake. Disturb them, Lord. Don't let them forget this. Don't let them settle down, O God, to another deep and grubby. And may this be the week of all that we've heard over the last week and heard today. They become a living reality in our hearts. We ask this in Christ. Jesus breaks every fetter. Jesus breaks every fetter. Jesus breaks every fetter. And if that's me too, even though that doesn't quite, not quite in mood with the message, I have a feeling that a lot of people have fetters finding them and presenting them from, from entering into moral understanding. With what I talked about. Let's trust God to break the fetters. Sing for a minute. Let us stand. Then we are less present. Heavenly Father, we thank thee for all our goodness. Sing. All our children, every color, and every age. Jacob's in old days, through months in later times. Holy Ann, Sophie the Scrub Woman, and Billy Bray, Henry Susan, John of the Cross, Francis Harrison. Oh God, we can name them 
whole telephone directory was held up full of them. We had time to listen to one swoosh, and it swooshed shining like stars in the dark world. Some of them are gone, some of them are still among them. But they shine in the dark world. And we show forth the glory of him who called us out of darkness into his light. And we thank thee for every one of them. Oh, God, help us. It were as bad as David. Help us, we pray, to be humble and to be as persistent and to hang on so long and to believe as thoroughly and to be willing to take the stigma of a cross carrying life. Now, oh God bless this company of people. We thank you for them. We pray that tonight as we gather, that there may be some who will make specific decisions. Some young people will be here tonight, probably. And maybe some who will wander in that aren't Christians. We pray for them. We pray that all prepare speakers and singers and those in charge and musicians and everybody that there will be a unanimity within our spirits so that the Holy Ghost can without hindrance lay conviction upon those who need it and give faith to those who are just desperate in faith. This is how we pray thee to Christ our Lord. Lord Jesus, thou art nearer than our breath. Thou art nearer than the impulses of our nerves. Thou art nearer than our thoughts. O Lord Jesus, Thou art here, walking amid the seven golden candlesticks, with eyes like fire, and a sword going out of Thy mouth, and Thy head white as wool, and thy face is the sun shining in its strength. Thou art girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Thou art the high priest of the church. O Lord Jesus, we pray for the lost sheep here tonight. We pray, Lord Jesus, for the half-saved Christian. We pray for the backsliders. We pray for those who have turned from the thing they knew was right. The first memory is a Sunday school class and prayer table. Oh, they turn from it and only go to church occasionally and then only to listen and go home. My Lord Jesus, tonight we pray thee, help such poor people who have listened to the voice of the animal the dull voice of the brain, and they've ignored that in them which cries for God and eternal life. Have mercy, we pray thee, upon them. And while the two voices are sounding, the voice of Esau and the voice of Jacob, the voice of earth and the voice of heaven sounding, we pray that they may have the wisdom and courage turn their backs on the siren voice of the world and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ while it's called today. Great God, this is thy meeting. We don't know what to do with it. It's up to thee, Lord. Great God, tonight, don't let the devil have everybody. Please, God, save some for thyself. Rescue some for thyself. Let us pray. Our God, our hope in ages past, help in ages past, our hope for years to come, we lift our hearts to thee. We thank thee, thou didst ever create us. We grieve that we ever marred that creation by sin. But having done that, we rejoice that thou didst find a way through love to save us the sacrifice of thyself. He who was from the beginning yielded himself on a tree that he might die. We thank thee, Father. We can never thank thee enough. We pray thee for those
those who are lost and in our midst this evening. Oh, Holy Spirit, do thou draw and win and pull. May the unsaved hear the voice of Jesus say, Come unto me and rest. May the thirsty hear him say, Come unto me and drink. May the blind hear him say, Come unto me and see. May the dead hear him say, Come unto me and live. O Lord, for Jesus' sake. Amen. Father, O God, now our near us. Thou art here. And like Jacob was tempted to say, Thou art in this place, and I knew it not. But we did know it after a fashion. This is none other than the gate of heaven. This is the house of God, Beth El. We will raise our altar here at this present. Now we pray for men and women, and particularly young people, who are charmed. The serpent of the world has charmed them like a bird. They gaze with fascination upon all the showy glamour of the world. They would die to become famous. Women here would give their Twenty years off their lives, five years to be a movie star. Great God, we're sick, sick, sick inside that we have sought the gutter instead of the clouds. That we have learned to love and live in and admire and imitate and follow the filthiest, lowest, most profane element in society. And there is a light and men don't see it, and the voice, and they don't hear it, and the presence, and they don't feel it. Oh, we pray, get hold of men and women and young people and children tonight, and pull them out of this mud, moral and intellectual mud. Get them out of it, we pray. Pray that thou will give to all of us who've been here tonight a renewed and vivid sense of the sacredness and spirituality of the world that thou hast created. Sin we have no truck with. And there's nothing good can be said about it. No eloquence can remove from it the ugly bestiality of sin. But apart from sin, O God, thou art in the world, thou art here. Pray to help us morning and night and all during the day and night and wherever we may be. Keep in contact with thee, knowing that he is in the world. And the great grief of the world is the world knows him not. But, oh, we Christians can say, Thank thee, Father, we know thee. We know thee through Jesus Christ, thy Son. We call thee Father. We have called thee Abba Father. We have stayed our hearts on thee. Blessed be thy name. Now we trust thee through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I'm going to pray for you in a moment. O oh Lord, we pray for these five persons who have raised their hands and asked us to remember them. O oh Lord Jesus, the world is so full of temptations and the magnetism of the world is all but impossible to resist. But these people want to do it. They want to turn from everything that grieves the Lord and follow him. They want to be thine completely, fully. We pray for them. I said pray one for another. We lift our hearts in prayer now and ask, O oh Lord, that you will help these five persons to put away their resistance, throw down all opposition meekly surrender now their hearts to thee. 
for thee to come in, take over, set up thy throne, and reign from within. King of their lives by thy grace. Grant this we pray thee, Lord Jesus, even right now, for thy name's sake. Would you bow your heads in a moment of prayer with me, please? Oh, Lord Jesus. Thy going forth has been from of old, even forever. Thou art moving from eternity that was to eternity to be, passing by. And the magnetism of thy presence is finding a few. A few that are one with thee in yearning and longing. A few. O Christ, even as thou didst walk down the streets of Jerusalem and they came out of houses and leaned out windows, Others glowered and walked away. So it is today. My Lord, we beseech thee, help those that are rejecting, we pray thee, let them reject. Those that will receive, we beseech thee, let them receive. We say, Selah. Amen. So be it, God. Thou invisible, mysterious person, present in our midst. The physician is near, the sanctifying, healing Jesus. The Lord and the Savior is near. We pray thee for those who, up to this hour, have been careless, shallow, modern, irresponsible believers would want tonight to change all that and to settle it with thee that they will take thee as their Savior now that they will make thee thine theirs that they will make themselves thine that they will lay hold of thee by all the aggressive act of their personality believe on thy name receive thy person Cease to be sinners. Move over into the new and heavenly birth that makes them children of God. Grant it for thy name's sake. Oh, but blessed Lord Jesus, blessed Lord Jesus, thou didst come on a mission. Our trembling hearts tell us thou shouldst have come with blazing eyes to be our judge. I should have come as our executioner to put to death such moral vermin, scrawl over the face of the earth, polluting each other and ourselves. But thou didst not come to condemn the world. Thou didst come that the world through thee might be saved. What can we say, Lord, to thank thee, O gentle Savior? How can we borrow language? to thank thee for this thy dying sorrow and pity without end. We thank thee, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we won't fight about thee and we won't argue about hypotheses. We will only kneel and say, My Lord and my God. We have found him of whom Moses and the prophets did write. Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Son of God. We have found him. Hallelujah. We have found him. We thank you. We pray thee for the famous present tonight. We thank you for those who responded last week. But Lord, we pray thee tonight. I will grant that there may be those who will go out of this place now with a solemn, lasting conviction that this means the personal individual person, the one, knowing, knowing, knowing that it was for them he came this way. Blessed Jesus, help us as we wait upon thee just a little longer tonight. In the name of Christ.
Now, Lord, we pray for these probably 40 people who stand here tonight. Oh, God. The world is busy counting numbers, and the church is even counting numbers, worshiping success, promoting flesh, pushing Adam to the front. These are saying, I desire to put Adam under my feet and to promote Jesus Christ and to glorify the Father who art in heaven and to make Christ appear large and myself small. These are strange people, Lord, strange. For they've heard a strange voice from another world calling them to humility and meekness lowliness, to take thy yoke upon them and follow thee, and to bear the cross that will slay them out to the place of death, that they might rise in newness of life and promote the high glory of the Most High God. So we pray for thee. We pray that all their hearts yearn for may be theirs, and that this may mark in each of their lives a specific spoon of memorial. A time when they'll say, from that night on, things changed in my life. And things have been different. And the old desire for, for honor and praise and credits all gone and the only desire to make Jesus all in all. By the Holy Ghost, come and possess these friends, till they shall be all, nothing in Christ, all in all. Grant this, we beseech thee, for Jesus' sake. Let us pray. <coughs> o God, our Father, we bless thy name, that thou didst send us help from the sanctuary. Out from the heavenly palaces, down from the lofty heights above, he came. He came to be born under law, to be born of a woman, that he might redeem us who were under law, and who by the curse of the law were lost hopelessly, down to the mud and the blood down to the shadows and the gloom, down to the tears and the tomb, he came. We bless thy holy name for sending. He came because he wanted to come, but he came because thou didst send him. And Father and Son agreed. We bless thee, O triune God. We praise thee, O blessed Holy Ghost, the conscience of the world that still keeps dimly alive the racial memory of the world from which we fell. Great God, we do not want thy wrath to be upon us. We want to have that eternal life which was with thee. We pray help tonight. There might not be one go out of here who has not received the Son, who has not obeyed the Son, who has not now taken the Son, Believe the Son. O Son of Man, we hear thy voice. Son of God, we see thy light. With thou grant we pray that as we go from this place tonight, we may go driven by the hard, overwhelming force of logic to Jesus Christ the Lord. To know that there is nothing on our level ancient or modern, that can help us remotely, but only he who came from above, only Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. We pray thee help us to love that name and follow with us wherever we go. Help these friends who've listened tonight. We thank you for the privilege of speaking to them. Oh, Lord, we pray, send them out with a bit of another world on their hearts, a yearning, a longing, an aspiration, that they may open wide the gates of their soul and receive the Lord Christ in. 
can rest in him and trust him and know that even now in spirit they can be raised out of the valley. And finally, that he's coming, taken out for good. And the valley itself transformed. No longer into the valley, from the valley of death, but now of life. For the knowledge of the Lord shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Let's watch and let's pray. Lord, we thank Thee, we thank Thee for the faith once delivered. We thank Thee for all the music and poetry and artistry, all the high flights of the religious spirit, all the dreams of holy men and the visions of sage and seer. We thank Thee for the places that are marked to remind us of men who once walked on earth, good men and true, faithful men and true. And we thank Thee that all their activities in faith and belief and discipline and prayer and warfare all led us to Him who is its fulfillment. Now we have found him. We have found him, this man who told us everything we ever did. This wondrous man who never sinned, who would sit and talk to us, who never did anything else but sin. How we thank thee for this miracle, this wonderful, shining miracle of the man who came from men. Blessed Jesus, receive our thanks. We thank thee, Lord, we thank thee. We pray that thou wilt help everybody here tonight to open his heart, her heart wide to the Savior, and to believe that he will come in instantly and at once, and plant a well there, and spring up and spring up and spring up on and on while the ages go by, up unto eternal life. Lord, help us. Help the, any who may be on the borderline tonight. Help any who may be partly backslidden. Help any who may be wandering. Help any who may be doubting. May we be sixty this night. May there be a quick turning of the Spirit to the God of spirits who seeketh such to worship Him. These who worship in spirit and in truth. We ask it in Jesus' holy name. Amen. If you'll only believe, let us pray. Lord, we love thee tonight. We confess we do. We want to be restrained and conservative. But we want thee to know, and we want the public to know, that we love thee for loving us. We love thee for coming for us. We love thee because thy holiness was not solid and thy character degraded when thou didst come down for me. We love thee for this, Lord Jesus. We bless thee and worship thee this night. And truly we can sing that thou art the one in whose presence our soul is delight. Lord, thou art with thy sheep, thou art hunting thy sheep, thou art searching them out upon the ravines and gullies, and caught between sharp points of rock or among the briars, finding them here and finding them there, but finding them. O oh Lord, we pray for any lost sheep here this evening. We pray, Lord Jesus, that thou wilt find that sheep. May that sheep not go out any longer to be in peril of its life. May it bleat until it attracts the shepherd's notice and he comes and takes it on his shoulder and carries it home rejoicing. Blessed be thy name. We thank thee for thy great flock. 
of all tongues and tribes and nations everywhere, O oh Lord, that have been found, the found ones. We think a lot of the lost ones, but we thank thee for the found ones, which will make in the aggregate a group that nobody can number like the sands or the seashore. All lost, but all found. The found ones. Blessed be thy name. Bless every man who is preached in this city tonight, or is now preaching, who is now or will be shortly, offering the gospel to men in invitation. O oh, Lord, blanket Chicago with the cloud of the Holy Ghost. Come down on us, we pray thee, like the descending Chicago. May many who are out tonight be in before ten o'clock. We're lost tonight, be found before this service closes. We trust thee to hear us and answer us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. You'll do it all right, shall we pray? O oh, thou Son of God, thou most holy Lamb, we are here thy, thy servants this evening. And oh, we thank thee, Lord, where not all there are. We thank thee, Father, that there are many others. Thank thee this is not the only church. Thank thee, Lord, that it isn't a choice between the Alliance Church and hell. For there are thousands of churches on this continent where just as true and wonderful truth is preached, and many of them in this city. For this we thank thee this night and give thee praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for all the good churches and good preachers and good faithful men of God. But, Father, there are churches that fatten and grow on those who won't take the narrow way. Great God, pity and spare this refuge for cowards, these great ornate Edifices dedicated to the deserters, paid for for the cowards, kept up for the ignoble deserters from the army of oh God. Have mercy on such. Oh, have mercy on such. But bless every gospel church, Lord. Bless every gospel church, whatever denomination. Bless every man that stands to preach tonight, and Father, some of them will stand with robes on, but they'll preach the word. And some choir tonight wearing robes will sing the wonders of redemption. Blessed be thy name. Now look, it's not on the outward appearance, but on the heart. We bless thee and worship thee tonight. We have found the way. Pass the veil through the blood, for the holy of holies with God. Blessed be thy name. Now, Lord, we pray thee for any who may be discouraged, who may be having a hard time, who may have been secretly toying with throwing it all up and saying, what's the use? They've been tempted and they've even fallen for their temptation. Great God, have mercy upon thy sheep tonight, thy poor bruised, battered sheep. Satan and wolves and, and bears and lambs, they've been after thy sheep. Their jaws are slavering and their eyes are keen and sharp and penetrating. And their paws are soft as they pat around waiting. O oh Lord, save thy sheep from the maw of the, the dragon tonight. That's this truth. Show us plainly through it that there's nowhere to go, but show us also that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God, that Christ who should come to turn our feet toward thee as well as our hearts. Help us now as we wait upon thee, Father. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Means. Believe on him, obey him, and let the world know. Let us pray. O Lord, 
merciful Lord Jesus, our Lord. The great world, sons of Cain, nice people, many of them, friendly people, people that would give a dollar if we got in trouble, lend us their lawnmower, help us if we got a flat tire, good people. But in religion, the followers of that man who brought the flower and didn't bring the blood. Maybe Cain, maybe Abel's disposition wasn't as nice as Cain's. But he had found a refuge under blood. And he was born of the new spirit. And then he that was only born once murdered him that was born twice. Oh God, we hate to think it. We love people. We love the world. We want to get along with everybody. We wish that we could always nod our head and amen everything everybody says. We hate to be on the other side. We hate to be stubborn, contentious. But, oh, Jesus, they're saying, Thou art a good man. And others are saying, No, religion deceives people. So they're fighting it out, and they're both wrong. Oh, Christ, thou art more than a man, thou art God's man. Thou art God thyself, God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Thou art thyself man, born of Mary in time, the perfect man and perfect God compounded. This night, O Lord Jesus, we pray that the carelessness and, and the, the breeziness might go out of our spirits. We might wait and know whose side we're on. O Lord, we take thy side. Even if it's against our friends, we take thy side. We own thee, Lord, to boss us, to do, tell us what to do, and we promise to obey thee, O Lord. We would be disciples of thine, taking the cross and following thee. We pray for any who may this night not have taken this way. We pray for such they be here. God, have mercy, have mercy. Have mercy, O Son of God, have mercy tonight. For the world is very evil and the times are waxing late. And the judgment's drawing near. We beseech thee, Lord. Pity and spare and forgive and have mercy upon our poor souls. We ask it in Jesus' name. Let us pray. For Lord Jesus, thou art the light of the world. The light of the world. O oh, lighthouse, shine on me. Shine on me. And please, Lord, don't let anything prevent the light from shining. Thou hast said, if anybody's willing, he shall know. We believe in the body of truth. And with full stentorian tones, we can say, I believe in God the Father Almighty and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, and I believe in the Holy Ghost. We thank thee we believe the body of truth. And we thank thee also, thou hast taught us that there is, there are depths beyond and beneath and above that we must plunge into by obedience and faith. And when we find the inner soul of truth, then we're converted and not till that time. O oh God, save us, we pray thee, from the snares and the traps into which we so easily fall. Save us from textualism. Save us from rationalism. Save us, we pray thee, our God, from the error of the Pharisees. Save us from the cold hand that would teach us the code. And we pray thee, give us light from above. O oh, light, come down. Illuminate our souls. Make heavenly things vividly real. Make divine truth vividly real to our spirits. 
turn the bright light on until we can see. The landscape of theology lies shrouded in night. Turn the bright sun on, God, so we can see everything, down to the four-leaf clover or a butterfly there. Make it so bright, O oh my God, that we won't perish in the midst of truth, but we'll be saved by truth. Save us, we pray, from hanging on to the things that will bind us and going the way of evil, wanting to be good but not wanting to be good, bad enough to be good. Great God, help us to repent. Help us to hate ourselves. Help us to hate sin. Help us to hate the sin that makes thee mourn, keeps thee from our breast. Help us, God. This is people tonight. Let there be no deceived people walk out these doors. Let there be none go out of here who have a name to live but are dead. Let there be none go out who are reprobates. Let no one walk down these winding stairs onto the street in inward blindness. But may they obey, for thou hast told us if we would be willing to obey, we should know. Knowledge follows willingness to obey. So help this night, we pray, for Jesus' sake. And we give the praise. Pray. Lord, we're more concerned that it everything be all right with us now and in the day of our death or at the coming of thy Son. We're more concerned than that we stand well in religion, that we have a reputation among the saints. We're, we're more concerned, Lord, that things be now right with us. Oh, we thank thee, Lord Jesus. How did say to such poor world wanderers as we are, if ye become my disciples and follow me and go on and become disciples, indeed ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And if the Son sets you free, you shall be free indeed. For I am the light of the world, and he that follows me shall never walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Thank you, Lord. There need be no concern, need be no doubts, need be no worries. We can know that we're following thee. As we walk in the light, as ours in the light, we have fellowship with thee and with one another. In the blood of Jesus Christ, thy Son, cleanses us from all sin. And this is a greater treasure than all the gold of Ophir or the diamonds of Africa. More to be desired is it than all jewels, all rubies, all the corn and wheat and all the granaries of the world. And so we seek tonight to know and be sure that we're not only sons of, of the uh, descendants of the Reformers, but true sons of their faith and obedience. Whatever our denomination is, that we're not only in the tradition of our denomination, but that we have the spiritual experiences of those who in other days brought those denominations into existence by their faith and love. Thank thee for every true Methodist. Thank thee for every holy Presbyterian. Thank thee for every godly Baptist. Thank thee for every happy Nazarene. Thank thee, O Lord, for every blessed, heart-happy Quaker. Thank thee for every man and woman of God of whatever denomination that loves thee tonight, and we feel we're a part of their fellowship. But, oh, save us, we pray thee, from the tragedy and snare of entrenched privilege, of vested interest, of believing everything's all right because we're descended from parents that are all right. Great God, save us from this. Now we trust thee, Thou will send us out from this church with a quiet, certain, sure gaze at the light of the world, meekly 
disclaiming all self-righteousness, humbly denying ourselves, willingly taking the cross, sorry for all that is imperfect and wrong, glad for the blood that cleanses, grateful for the grace that pardons, and remembers sin no more forever. Blessed be thy name. Amen. You heard him? God help you. Let's pray. O thou shepherd of Israel, thou shepherd of the sheep, the Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down to lie in pastures green. He leadeth me the quiet waters by. O Lord, thou art the shepherd of thy sheep. And we're so pleased with the arrangement. We're so glad it worked out that way. We're so glad that thou didst so have it. We wouldn't have felt comfortable if thou hadst made Moses our shepherd. We remember Moses broke some rocks one time. Smote another rock. Killed a man. We wouldn't have been comfortable if thou hadst made Elijah our shepherd. Because Elijah called down fire. Oh, Lord Jesus, we're comfortable having thee as our shepherd. We're relaxed and restful, for thou art a good shepherd, and a great shepherd, an understanding, sympathetic, loving shepherd. We thank thee, Lord Jesus, for being our shepherd. Thank you for David, but we're glad he's not our shepherd. He didn't like a man, he ordered his head off. But, O oh Lord, we thank thee, thou art our shepherd. Now we pray thee for any who may be lost this night. For Jesus' sake, we pray before the lights go out in this building. They may have found the shepherd, or the shepherd found them. Granted, for Jesus' sake, enlarge our hearts. Make us big inside, bigger inside than we are outside. Make us as big as the world. Make us as big as the whole church of God. Inside, big enough to contain Every saint. Let thy mercy be over us now, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's pray. Oh, Lord Jesus, we've just been thinking of an incident that took place in thy earthly life back in old Judea. Here we are, Lord, in another part of the world, on another continent, among another kind of people, in another period of history. Human nature hasn't changed at all. Men still have two eyes and two ears, their heads still on top of their body and their feet underneath. They still grow old and die and children are born. Everything is the same. Color, cultures, distances, they change. But, oh, Lord, thou knowest, people remain the same. And there are people here tonight, eager people who would run to inquire, how can I be saved? And then when they find out, would go the other way. And there may be people who would eagerly inquire, how can I be filled with the Holy Ghost? And when they find out, sorrowfully turn away. My Lord God, Allah, must grieve thy heart as it grieves ours a little bit. It must grieve thine with infinite grief. We sorrow a little, thou must sorrow with boundless sorrow. Thou man of sorrows, acquainted with grief. We hid, as it were, our faces from thee. And turn our back and go away, sorrowing we go, but go sorrowing. O oh, Lord, have mercy, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O oh, Lord. And thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst humble thyself to be born of a virgin. When thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. We therefore pray, O oh, Lord, save thy people. 
which thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood, lift them up, make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, this night, shepherd of Israel and ours, find that land. O shepherd of thy flock, find that straying sheep. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we pray that thou wilt be pleased to bless these words. Thou knowest how how or how how our words fly about and like birds around the chimney. Oh but Jesus take the word at least the text and carry it home to our Put in us, we pray, a great longing after thee, a great own desire to know thee in living in contact by the Holy Ghost through the blood until all our self-confidence is gone and we rest not. We ask these things in the name of Jesus. Now, our Heavenly Father, we are before Thee. We think that it's hot, and we're just slightly uncomfortable. But, oh God, if we knew for positive certainty that Thy Holy Son, Jesus, were coming at midnight tonight, nobody would mention the weather. We'd be alert, and our loins would be girded, and our lamps lighted, and our shoes on our feet, and our staff in our hands. We would be looking and hoping, but, Lord, we pray thee that thou wilt help us to live now, and to think now, as if that coming was indeed as soon as midnight. And we pray that thy blessing may be on us as we think together about the call of the Holy Ghost to men. O oh God, help, we pray. May our minds be brought in from the busy world out there and from the noise, and may they be centered upon holy things and holy thoughts. But thou knowest, Lord, it's not certain how much longer any of us will be this side of the border. So we pray thee while we are here, and opportunity is ours, to lay hold of it, and do what we can to make our calling and election sure. Help now tonight in the giving of this word. We pray in our Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Now let's pray. Oh, love of God, thou hidden love of God, we have found thee. We have found thee. For thou hast found us, for we were not looking for thee, thou art looking for us. We have found, and thou hast found, and we know thee, or rather, as Paul said, we are known of thee. How thou bless this fellowship, this group that's heard these words tonight. May we go out and amid horns and Airplanes overhead and noises of every kind. May we hear this gentle, insistent, sovereign, authoritative, winsome voice calling us to be Christians, calling Christians to be good Christians, and calling good Christians to be still better Christians calling us to put the world away and focus our attention on eternal values that will be hereafter. Kingdoms have fallen and democracies have gone down in the dust. Great God, help us over these days just ahead. We pray in Christ's name. 
Amen. Let's pray. Father, we pray for these who raise the hand. We have no way of knowing what the need might be. Thou knowest about it. But the great thing is that the heart is determined and the will is set that they'll hear this voice of the blood of Jesus speaking and pleading like a lawyer before a court, pleading for his client. So our advocate above, Savior by the throne of love, pleads, and we pray that they may hear that voice. May quietly tonight turn away from everything, everything that could possibly slow them down, put away every weight and everything that could keep them from being the kind of Christian they ought to be. And we pray for any who may not be Christians, or who may be on the border, and not sure, God in Christ's name, we pray that they may turn to thee with all their hearts. For if ye call upon me with all your heart, ye shall most surely find me. Help us now, Lord, as we wait a little further and sing thy praise in Christ's name. Father, we pray thy blessing upon the truth. Lord Jesus, we would, we would be clean men and women. We would put away evil. We would cease to do wrong. We would amend our ways. But all this we would do knowing that in us there dwells no good thing knowing that left to ourselves that we could not possibly wash ourselves nor make ourselves right nor live right. We thank Thee for the Holy Spirit. We thank Thee for the power of the Gospel. We thank Thee for the retreat of prayer and the hiding place of devotion. We thank Thee, Lord, that it's possible to live as becomes saints in an evil and adulterous generation. Grant that we may, for Christ's sake. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, how thou didst ever find us, when so many millions go their way careless tonight, we'll never know. But it's grace, sweet grace, eternal, that takes all our sins away, and David's royal fountain washes us clean. We thank thee. Pray thee for all present this evening. Pray there might be a searching of heart and an exposing of our nature before thy light to know whether indeed we belong in heaven or in hell, whether indeed we're sons of Adam or sons of God. Oh, God, save us from carelessness. Here in Canada, down in the United States, and many a few other countries in the world, we're like this rich man. We have so much, we live sumptuous. It's in our way. It's making us forget that sometime soon, we're going to die. And we're going to go where the claim is laid to us where we belong. Oh, God, help this evening, this hour. We pray for Christ. Let us sing. And if now or after the service you want to see me, I'll be available. Let's pray. It could be that somebody would like me to offer prayer for you. Last Sunday night after service, a young man from another country who was a Roman Catholic came to me, said he had heard me twice, and he was concerned. I can't recall word for word, but something to the effect that he was deeply concerned about his soul and his relation to God, and could I help him? I prayed with him, exhorted him and then told him to read the Gospel of John prayerfully asking God for light. Maybe he's here tonight. I hope he is. 
He promised to keep in touch with me. Maybe you'd like to have me pray for you. If you would, the simplest old-fashioned this way I know just to raise the hand so I'll know who wants prayer. Would you raise the hand? Who would like to have me pray for you? For any need at all that might be, uh, that might be in your life. Any need that might be in your life, put the hand up. We'll know that somebody wants prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, we pray tonight that thou will help us to hear thy people. Oh, we thank thee for that, that glorious Jerusalem the golden, with milk and honey blessed, where dwell the spirits of just men made perfect, and where thy church will someday be. We thank thee, O Lord Christ, victorious, triumphant, Lord Jesus. God hath made thee both Lord in Christ, and has set thee head over all things to the church, hath made thee heir of all things, thou who art the shining forth of his glory, the express image of his person, in whom dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. We love thee, Lord Jesus. We want to serve thee. We want this church to be a Christ church indeed. We repudiate the ways of worldly churches. We repudiate the psychology and philosophy of worldly churches. We insist we want to be a New Testament church. Make it so, Lord, we pray thee. Bless these dear friends. For Christ's sake, amen. I wonder him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests unto his God, the Father. To him be glory and dominion, now and forever. Amen. But before we sing, we want to pray. Let's pray.
Give us a new something, a new baptism of interest, a new, a new afflatus of, 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 of fresh interest in the things of the gospel. Oh God, we pray that thou will help the friends here tonight. Lord, we pray for those who are well saved, that they might become so keenly concerned for others that aren't saved, that they would continue to work for their salvation hard and struggle and pray and labor until one by one they're gathered in. Grant, we pray, our God, that there might be a harvest of souls that have you over overdue, Lord. It's long overdue. But God, we're not giving up. We expect to see it. We expect to see it, Father. We expect thee to give us a harvest. We expect to see young people that brought in and older people. We expect to see the, the, the new faces and hear new voices and, and see the travail of thy soul, O oh Lord. We expect thee. For thou art God. And because Jesus Christ, thy son, said if we wanted anything asked in his name, and you'd give it to us. And because that's why the gospel is being preached. That's why we're here. So we expect to see it, God. We don't believe that thou dost speak to men vainly or say anything to anybody carelessly. We believe that when thou dost make a promise, that promise is as good as gold. So we're expecting, Father. We're expecting thee to do it. Oh, God, around the margins, our relatives, our friends, our neighbors, people all around here that are not here tonight, but they can be here and they can be brought in and they can be won. We pray to you, oh God, fall on the churches. Fall on this church. Fall on our people. We pray with a, with a new afflatus of love for men. That we may not depend on this word from the people only, but that we might supplement that word with earnest soul winning efforts. Now come on, us, Father. We're looking for help, O oh God. Once more we remind thee that we have for this church a vision of a strong Bible-based, morally right, solid, vigorous, active, loving church that the people will feel when they come in here that surely the, the Lord's in this place of a truth. The Lord may be slow, but we believe it will come. Now I said first the, the, the little sprout, and then the stalk, and then the ear, and then the full corn in the ear. So well, put us through those stages fast, Lord, because we need the corn and we need it fast. We need it soon. Pray God meet us for trusting you. We pray to you for any tonight that are not committed, that have been, the Holy Ghost has found them somewhere there among the, among the rocks or on the wayside or among the thorns. The Spirit of God has found them. We pray to you that they might come out from there and be good ground and receive the truth into our honest hearts. And bring forth fruit and with patience under perfection. We ask this in Christ's name. Now let's sing this number, please. Number is it? We pray thee this night that thou wilt help the young man who is seeking thy face. Blessed Jesus. And then we pray for some who, for their own reasons, did not see fit to present themselves publicly. We pray for them and ask that our Lord will be with them as thou certainly will be with them right on and keep them in life until they've either said the last no or have said a happy yes to thy invitation. Pray now thy blessing upon us and may mercy and grace attend us all the days of our lives. Dismiss us now with thy blessing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Than you will ever find at any other time. Oh, Father, we beseech thee for all of these. Take them through the fire and through the flood, but above all things, through the blood. And if they have to sit by the river key bar, as Ezekiel did, or be thrown down into a pit as Jeremiah was, or be surrounded by dancing fanatical foes as Elijah was, or be on the Isle of Patmos as John was, 
or to fall flat down in a faint, as Daniel did. Oh, whatever the cost, we pray thee, make Christian worshipers out of these men and women. This we ask in Jesus' name. Everybody stand by the magazine and us in the podium. Say, Father, first of all, help us. Thy name should be hallowed. Hallowed. And that thy kingdom should come. And that thy will should be done all over the universe. Down here as it is up there. Let that be first. And the other things fall in line. Blessed be God and blessed be His Holy Son, Jesus Christ. This we ask in Jesus. Now, Him. O God our Father, we thank Thee, we thank Thee, we thank Thee for Jesus Christ, Thy Son. We haven't done anything that we can think of but what we're ashamed of. We haven't done anything but what we ought to be ashamed of. We haven't got anything, our brains, our minds, our bodies, our souls, our spirits. We haven't got anything ourselves except what thou hast given us. What thou hast given us we're not ashamed of. We're glad for and we're deeply grateful for. And we will go and appear and be there, dressed in thy righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. Thou wilt know us and claim us and not be ashamed of us, because we were redeemed in thy mercy. Poor, scarred, bruised, pathetic, pale face, dying, thou didst find us, and save us, and lift us, and renew us, and give us life, and we're thine. Thou bless this congregation, and we pray for any who may not be saved, they might see what they're missing. And turn quick to Jesus Christ and say, Lord, I, I'm sorry for my past. From here on, I'm thine. Now, I'd like to have you offer, let me offer a word of prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, we're gathered to thee. We're not gathered to men, no matter how good men may be. We're gathered to thee. We minister unto thee. We trust in Thee, O Christ, risen from the dead, alive at the Father's right hand forevermore. Death hath no more dominion over Thee. God hath put all power in Thy hands and has made Thee head over all things. Exercise Thy great power tonight. Take the words which thou didst thyself inspire, for thou art the word, and thou didst inspire the word. And make the word to live tonight, the ancient word that has outlasted empires and kingdoms and nations and peoples, and is still shining in its glory tonight. We pray that thou wilt make us worthy to hear thee speak. And help me to speak as from thee. Amen. Now, Lord, for these who have raised their hands, we would ask thy blessing. Lord, whatever they need, give it to them. If they need what they don't want, make them want what they need. And if they want what they don't need and shouldn't have, change their wants to fit their needs. And give them, by grace, O mighty God, what they need the most. Now we pray thee, send us out from here tonight to a, a, a busy, dangerous world with every breaking headline more perilous than the one before. O oh Lord, send us out, we pray thee, into the place we call civilization, into society, with complete trust that these are God's word, they can be trusted, and that as we believe them, they'll be fulfilled for us, and in us, and through us. Amen. O oh, dear Lord, Time is short, and the hour is late, and 
we have such little time to go. And religion has gotten organized now. Thy religion, Lord Jesus, so that anybody can do it. Anybody. We don't have to have thy gifts anymore. The tragedy and the terror of it all. The Lord still, men build their Babylons, call them by thy name, but they go down and perish. Oh, we want our work to last. For soon we shall be where the wicked cease from troubling in the tor- toil-worn our dress, and only what the Holy Ghost does will last. We would yield our earthly vessels. We would bring our empty vessels. We would, if need be, come and ask thee to begin to scrub the rust and the filth until our hearts are shining clean repositories for the blessed Spirit. God bless everybody that listened tonight. Now, make us all see this. Make us all understand it, Lord, how tragic it is that Peter out at last and be cobblers in the kingdom of God and fool around and put patches on the roof and cough up the temple with sticks. Oh, God. And it's everywhere men are doing it. We confess, Lord God, that we, we feel like being sick when we read the pages of the Sunday papers and some of them religious magazines. Adam's brain is busy trying to do God's work. We wonder, Lord, if it isn't offering strange fire on the altar of God. We wonder if it won't bring judgment in that day. Oh, Lord, save us from offering strange fire. Any fire we offer, we want to be off the altar. Thy fire. Bless us now as we separate. Please don't let us eat our way through a yard of pizza tonight and forget all about this. Great God, we pray thee, give us gravity. The boy in his early teens here tonight, with exuberance and nervous energy, make him grave and serious. And we think of thy sixteen-year-old handmaid, who yielded herself to the Holy Ghost, and was the instrument in some places of the revival. We don't excuse our 16-year-olds who think they're coats in the park, you see. And we don't excuse the parents who think that their children ought to be permitted to just play. And actually, Lord God, the crisis is on, the world's on fire, and the judgment is drawing near, and the coming of the Lord draws nigh. Thank God. Will thou send us out grave and thoughtful to meditate on thy word? Give us, we pray thee, desire and determination, and then push us on till we're pushed over the cliff in desperation. And then as a mother eagle stirs up her nest, and then dies down and catches her young, thou wilt catch us and fill us and gift us. And the work we do, though it may not be that, we'll have eternity in time. Let us stand, please. Oh, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, how must we live in a world where perils and dangers are upon every hand, and life is short, and time is fleeting, and judgment is coming, and Satan is busy, and all the fiends are squaring themselves across the path for trying to prevent us from going ahead. But we hear thee calling from the mountain peak, and we want to know thee, and the power of thy resurrection, and the fellowship of thy suffering, and be made conformable unto thy death. And we want to know the beauty and wonder that is thee, 
And we pray for these who requested prayer. Oh, Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus, Thou who didst come in olden times in the form of a dove and sat upon him till then's fire, and Thou who didst come to Peter and to the Moravians and to the saints of New England, Thou who didst Come, O Lord, in spots here and there, in Borneo and Korea. Oh, withhold not thy glory from us. We cry, show us thy glory, Lord, show us thy glory. And teach us how to go on. Now grant, we pray, that this may be a good week, and if the devil makes it the worst week we've ever had, we'll understand it. We'll have a naked intent and determination, and we'll calmly, quietly believe even though we should be attacked, even though the, the darkness should settle over us, we'll know it's the cloud of unknowing. It's the dark night of the soul that precedes the bright morning of the heart. And we won't be frightened. For we know thou didst go through the garden and through the cross and into the darkness and out of the darkness and into the tomb and out of the tomb and into the glory. So wilt thou lead thee and lead us and lead this church and oh, we pray, bring us to a place where soon we may be under grace, spiritually prepared for a mighty outpouring of the Holy Ghost. An outpouring that shall bring in reality that which everybody's talking about and nobody has. And we shall come back to New Testament spirituality, back to Book of Acts, Christianity again. Maybe out from us here there shall flow streams into the desert way, and fire that shall touch churches and groups everywhere. Bless us as we wait. And above all things, show us thyself, thyself, Lord, and show us thy glory. Hide us in the rock as thou passest by, and show us thy glory, so that all the glory of this world shall appear as ashes after that wondrous sight. This we ask. In the holy name of Jesus. Now, as we close, I'm going to ask Brother Ray to sing as a little solo for us. Save us from empty words and fill every word with golden content. Prepare every heart to receive the word and prepare the speaker to lay the emphases where they belong inspire, illumine, enlighten, and empower, we pray. May it be said, they could not resist the wisdom and the spirit. These we beg of thee to give us wisdom and spirit. Lord, I know it's how much religious, how many religious things there are to say. We talk them for the next hundred years. They'll not be run out. So I have something to say to us now. Say it, Lord. Say it. And may thy servant hear you. Amen. First, before we do, let's pray. Oh, God, we thank thee for the thing in which we hear a sound that isn't earthly. It's neither the chief song of the world, nor is it the fine classical song of the world, but there's another voice. We hear it, and it harmonizes with the beasts and elders and living creatures, and ransom the rule of palms in their hands, and the sea. And sing together of him, he loved them and washed them in his own blood. We're glad to hear this, Lord, and know what it'll be like. A little bit of it, at least. Thank thee for an assembly Christian. Thank thee for this church. Thank thee for this crowd here this evening night. And, Lord, it isn't the largest church on the continent, but to us, 
it is the most important, and we pray that all grant that tonight they may go forth to that will be helpful to people. Some don't need it. Some are on their way. Some are long past the necessity for any of my preaching. Younger ones are coming up. New ones are coming in. Many others by the scores are going to other parts of the country and other parts of the world and taking the instruction and the message with them there. New ones are hearing. God grant we pray tonight that in utter humility and consciousness that it is not I and not man and not the voice of man but the voice of the Spirit, may we hear thee speak, O Lord Jesus. Grant mercy to be over it. Such this hot, noisy, jumpy city with its cacophonous racket and its fears and its lust and its deceptions and its lies and its demon possession. Oh, God, have mercy on this great concentration of evil we name in Chicago. We thank thee thou hast seen as a number who haven't bowed the knee to bail or kissed his image and never will. Thank thee for them, Father. Thank thee some of them are here tonight. Graciously help us. It may be in power and not in word only. Christ name. Now the text says, take heed how ye hear. Now when the great God brings salvation to us, he let it ride on a voice. He let it ride on a sound. Amen. Let's pray. Now, Father, we pray that I'll help us. Temptation will be to just loaf around among the trees. But Lord, while we're loafing, Satan's working. While we're loafing, Kuchap's busy. And all of those sons of Belial are busy trying to destroy the church, destroy human liberty and dignity, take away everything good and decent from the world. And they are doing it while we sleep. Oh, Jesus, please make our beds hard and choke us up so we can't eat too much and help us that we might pray during these days. Not be parasites living off the preachers, but participators and partakers, sharing with them. Not only in our giving, but in our praying and in our bearing of the load. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. It has been, I've tried to figure out how many years since I've been here, but I do remember what happened the last time I was here. V.J. Day. And they took the rationing off gasoline, and everybody on the camp ducked out to get a tank full. Well, that's been a long time ago, hasn't it? No, our Father, we well know that spiritual things can't be reduced to formulas, even though we struggle so hard to do it. An impulse of faith, sudden reckless daring of the soul in its leap after God, could do more for us than all the carefully laid out sermons could ever do. We've done all we can do. We've appealed to the intelligence, made some explanations, tried to say in our racy modern English what has been said with great and stately dignity in our Bibles. My God, now take this that's been spoken and apply it to our hearts. May we, one after the other, turn from Adam's unbelieving world with its self-confidence, its self-reliance, its arrogance, its pride, 
mad pleasures, it's the love of wealth, it's the love of praise, it's the love of publicity, it's inordinate love of clothing and of fine things and of rich things. Turn us, we pray thee, from it all, not only in our hearts but in reality. And then turn us to Jesus Christ, thy Son. We need him, Lord. If we gave up the world and didn't have him, we'd be in a vacuum. Thou quickly take us through that little vacuum and take us to Jesus Christ, who is the radiant source of everlasting life and peace, and joy, world without end. We ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Cooperate with God in all this. Let's pray. Father. We pray for these friends who ask us to pray. Dear Father, we pray that Thou, through Thy Son, Jesus Christ, will help every one of these, that they might drive a stake down and say, as Israel said when she crossed the river, this is a marker I crossed here, something really happened. Oh, we pray that this decision made tonight may not be the careless decision, but that it may be a determination that's as big as life and as strong and deep as all their faith, that they will, they will seek to meet all the requirements, that they may in that day rise to that divine abode, that the sons of ignorant and light and night may dwell with the eternal light because of thine eternal love. Grant this. Then for those who didn't, some who didn't but should have, O oh, Father, keep upon us a sense of holiness that we can't sin and excuse it, but that repentance will be as deep as our lives this we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Let's pray. O oh Lord, Lord, Thou hast brought life and immortality to life through the gospel. Thou hast set a candle in every Christian grave. Thou hast sanctified every floating Christian body in the vast sea. Thou hast sanctified every dry fleck of dust that was once a tabernacle of the Holy Ghost. Great God, thou hast taken the darkness out of the future, and thou hast set a thousand suns there. We thank thee. Thou hast made the bitterest pain tolerable. Thou hast taught us to so number our days as those whose days are given as a school for the world to come. We pray for any who may be lost in this room tonight. We pray and they may turn their hearts back to thee, back to the scriptures, back to the cross, back to the blood, back to the Savior. O oh God, for our young people. O oh God, thou knowest this terrible day. O oh God, thou knowest this terrible day. We're inventing vaccines to keep them from dying of polio. And we're keeping them alive to teach them to be fools and to live like fools and die like fools. My God, how confused everything is. We're licking one disease after another. We've pushed life expectancy up from 34 years to 60 some years. And all those years that we've gained on earth were wasted. My God, forgive us. We're stupid. We're as beasts before thee, O oh Lord. My God, we pray nobody might go out of this building tonight that hasn't found thee as his God and Jesus thy Son as his Savior. Amen. That doesn't know that immortality has come to him in essence, in eternal life in fact. And that now... 
he can spread his wings and soar out and rise and become enamored of those things where Christ sitteth at the right hand of God. Oh, my Father, don't let anybody here tonight be lost, we pray. Save our young people from the asininities and nonsense and foolishness and chatter and all the devil-inspired traps and tricks that would ruin them. Save them from their own lust. Save them from their own high spirits and hot blood. Save them from their poor ignorance. Great God, save our young people. Save them all. Add to their numbers. Make them such magnets that they'll draw other young people in off the street. They won't wait for them to grow up from the kindergarten, but they'll come in off the street to see what makes these young people happy faced. My Father, do something for them. Spread the gospel message. Bless every man who at this hour in this city may be ending his sermon and inviting people to the front. Bless, we pray, every gospel preacher. May Satan suffer a major defeat tonight in the kingdom of God, a major victory. Receive a major victory. Help us now as we wait upon thee in Christ's name. Amen. Oh, God. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We're not going to be around long. None of us. These young people, without a gray hair, without any evidence of age at all upon them, they won't be around long. Time like an ever rolling steam bears all its sons away. They fly for dropping as a dream dies at the opening day. The little tribes of flesh and blood with all their cares and fears are carried downward like a flood and lost in following you. Oh, God, we pray, give us spiritual good sense. Give us insight. Give us prophetic vision. Please help us to see past brick walls and water and beads and fruit and basins and bread. My God, these things all perish with the using. Help us to see past it all and discern the Lord's body and discern the deep meaning of things. Lord Jesus, they crucified thee. Because thou didst see the deep and the meaning of things, and they saw nothing but the shell. Please help us that we may not be on the side of any crucified thee in our sympathies. Help us rather to get over on the side of them than understood by and with light that the kingdom of God is within you, and that you are the temple of the Holy Ghost which you have of God. And that Christ dwelleth in you except to be reprobate. And that Christ in you is the hope of glory. Please, Lord, we pray thee. Keep us right and help us to be right and obedient in, in all the practical things of life. Help us to be sound and practical. And help us also, great God, to pierce through all the outer scaffolding and gaze and gaze and gaze where the Shekinah kind of fire burns between the wings of the cherubim. O be, O be, thy loving spirit, into every troubled breast. Let us all in thee inherit, let us find that second rest. Great God, take away our bent to sinning, our hand, O me, to thee. Even the faith of its beginning set our hearts at liberty. Now, God, we pray that I will talk to everybody's heart tonight. And in this frank and blunt message, we pray that thou will help everybody to understand what is meant that no good person might be offended. If an angry, bad man goes away mad, we have much care because they walk away from the white with anger. But we don't want any good person to go away feeling bad. Unless, by conviction, the Holy Spirit's trying to teach him the error of his ways. 
Oh, for Christ's sake we pray. Thou wilt make thy people good people. May it be said of us every one, if not now, then may it very soon be true of every one of us. He was a good man and full of the Holy Ghost. Grant this, we pray, for Jesus' sake. Oh, Father, we pray for all these who raise their hands. Oh, God, we pray, break them loose from their friends. Break them loose from their little block of society. Break them loose, we pray to you, from the, the, the little things that interest them. And uh, take them aside, if need be, into the, into the desert. Take them into the silence of their own room. Take them somewhere, and in awful, glorious vision, may they come through to a place where they've taken Christ as they're all and all forever and surrender to the Spirit of God to be in them, to guide them through each of them inward and outward and around and beneath and above all that the water is to the fish all that the air is to the bird on the wing more than that, all that the soul is to the human body all that the spirit is to the soul. May they do this, Lord, for Jesus' sake. Disturb them, Lord. Don't let them forget this. Don't let them settle down, O oh God, to another week of grubbing. But may this be the week that all that we've heard over the last week and, and heard today may become a living reality in our hearts. We ask this in Christ. Jesus breaks every fetter. Jesus breaks every fetter. Jesus breaks every fetter, and it sets me free. Even though that doesn't quite, not quite in mood with the message, I have a feeling that a lot of people have fettered by me and preventing them from, from entering into moral understanding with what I've talked about. Let's trust God to break the fetters. Sing it, Brother Matthew. Let us stand. Let's watch and let us pray. Lord, thank thee, and thank thee for the faith once delivered in for all the music and poetry and artistry, all the high of the religious spirit, all the dreams of holy men and the vision to save them here. We thank thee for the Places that are marked, mindless, of men who once walked on earth, good men and true, faithful men and true. And we thank you for all their activities and faith and belief and discipline and prayer and warfare, all led us to him who is his fulfillment. Now we have found him. We have found him the oldest of everything we ever did. This wondrous man who never sinned, who will sit and talk to us who never did. How we thank you for this miracle, this wonderful, shining miracle, and who came from man. Blessed Jesus, receive our thanks. We thank the Lord, we thank you. We pray that I will help everybody here tonight to open his heart, her heart wide to the Savior. It will come in instantly and at once. And plant a well there. It will spring up and spring up and on while the ages go by. Up unto eternal life. Lord, help us. Help to the borderline tonight. Help any who may be partly backslidden. and help any who may be wandering. Help any who may be doubting. We see this night. May there be a quick turning of the spirit to the God of Spirit, who keep us such these who worship in spirit and in truth. We ask that he Jesus. Let's pray. Oh, 
crazy. But Emmanuel, God with us. The Word made flesh to dwell among us. The Lamb that was slain, who is risen again, and who is with us now. Oh, Christ. We pray, help us. Out of this Old Testament story, which thou hast said was written for our admonition, upon whom the end of the world has come, we beseech thee, O Christ, may the Spirit who inspired this story, may he use it as a torch, as a candle to search our spirit tonight. We pray for those who are who have been out there a little too much in the world, listening rather with some sympathy to the siren song of Jezebel, that has been that have been listening a little to the to the soft cooing of, of the Balaam. Oh, Christ, make us strong to take our cross, to turn our backs upon Baal and all that he stands for, and to follow the Lamb with us where we go. Help us tonight, and in this hour, this moment of the sea, this, this moment of making up our minds, whether it's to be just over our base, whether it's to be Christ of the world, give us the courage to say, Jesus, I my cross have taken, all to lead and follow thee. We ask it in this holy name. Amen. Amen.